Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah. And I have finally figured out the pattern for the hat that I want to make that is going to match for my grandson, that is going to match mine and my granddaughter's headscarves. So here are our headscarves. This one's mine, and this one's my granddaughter's. And I wanted, I want, and I am going to be making my grandson's hat using this yarn and this yarn for the trim. So I'm hoping that I will have enough. The yarn we are using is Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo Stripes in the neon stripe colorway. And then loops and threads. Uh, color wheel in the color. Uh, da, 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 turquoise in the color tur turquoise um, hopefully I will have enough to create I should have enough for the hat itself I'm just a little bit worried for the trim but the trim is as I'm dropping stuff the trim is literally just the last edge so meet Sally this is Sally, my uh, <laughs> my stuff from hat, and as you can see, she is wearing this is the hat that I made first, and it's actually a little tight, but that's because I used a smaller hook than was suggested for my size, but it doesn't hurt or it doesn't hurt. It doesn't. It's not so tight. I did do this one bigger, so it, this is. Um, same hat. So this one I did with a 5.25 millimeter hook. And this one I did with a six point. Now the suggested hook for the hat for my, for an adult would be 5.5, but I can't find my 5.5. And before I keep going and rambling on, I got this pattern from Jada in Stitches. I will link the tutorial in the description box below. I'm just going to be making this hat and bringing you along with me. I'm not going to explain anything. There is one major difference that I'm going to do. Like I said, she, she suggested a 5.5 millimeter hook for a woman's hat or an adult hat, I should say. Um, an average head. Now, my grandson has a 21 inch, which I believe is this. So if I make this hat, it's going to be probably look like this on him. And I know that looks too big, but he's, he's three. He's going to, he's, he's growing and he's growing on at a faster rate than I am. <laughs> Obviously I'm not growing anymore, but anyway, so I'm going to make basically this hat because this one's done with the 5.25 and then this one is done with the six point. It's a little big, but it's not overtly big to where it bothers me or I feel like I, I'm going to lose it. Um, let me show you the difference. So this is pretty easy or pretty, pretty light, whatever. And this one is going to be somewhat tighter. It still looks fine. It's really cute. And I love, oh, I should... Hold on a second. Let me get this colorway off so that I can tell you. All right. So the hat that I've got on right now is also in the um, Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo Stripes. The colorway for this one is Sutherland Stripe. I know, can you see that? But there you go. And I love how this, I mean, it's... <laughs> For this hat, it was perfect. It starts out with that beige color, goes into green, then blue, then back to green, and then back to the beige color. And I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. So the tutorial, if you go to it, which I hope you do, because this is a really fun, easy um, pattern to follow. And Jada in Stitches teaches it so well. Um, so please go visit her vi uh, video and see how it's made. Because, I mean, it's 
super cute and she does it with um more than one thing of yarn this is just this and this is how it came out i absolutely love it so there's that and then this one is done with i love this cotton in the colorway um walk in the park so if you remember if you've been around for a while and you've watched this is the yarn that I use to make my headscarves for my 500 subscriber giveaway. So I, this is also just the one strand and this is how this came out. And this one's a little bit bigger than the other one, but I love them both. So, uh, yeah, so it's a little bigger, but I will wear both. And Jada and Stitches does hers in cotton, but this one and the one that I'm going to be making for my grandson is 100% acrylic. This one is cotton. This is stiffer, as you can. So, I mean, and then when I. <laughs> Quite a difference. This has a stiffer um, build to it, this one's a lot more flexible. So, I mean, it's, it's just your preference. I think you can use whatever yarn you want to use, um, whatever suits you. And like I said, the tutorial, she is using multiple. So like each row is a different color. And what I'm gonna do for Matthias is I'm gonna do exactly what I did with the bandanas. The bulk of the hat is going to be this this uh, neon, and then the trim, the very uh, little last bit of the trim is gonna be in this blue. And if I can, I'm thinking, I'm not sure, I might want to add a second row of the single crochets that go all the way, all the way around to give it an extra, um, a little bit thicker trim. I don't know that I would have enough to add it as part of the brim because the brim uses um, five single, five double crochets in a group and that uses a lot of yarn. So I'm not sure that I would be able to do that, although I would like to. I would think that the brim would be really cute if it was all the blue but I'm gonna do the hat and the brim in the blue and then the trim, or I'm sorry, in the neon stripe and then the trim in the blue and hopefully I have enough to do two rows. I think that's what I wanna do. And I know that'll make it a little bit um, longer, but my grandson, he'll grow into it. I made him a green hat that is too small now, so he needs another bucket hat. He really does. <laughs> So, but anyways, let me bring you on down so that you can see what I'm doing and let's get started. And yeah, I really do hope that you go to Jaded and Stitches. The link will be in the description box below because she is super fun to watch and she is a really amazing teacher. She just, her whole persona is just very happy and light and I just love that. So check her out and uh, learn how to make this like I did. Alrighty, I'm going to bring you on down. I'm going to get myself situated. I need to get my notebook that has all of my notes to, on how to make this because I've only made these two. And so I want to make sure I don't skip a step. So I'll be right back. I'm going to bring you down. I'm going to clear out my area and then we will get back on and watching me crochet. There you go. Does that sound like fun? I hope so. Alrighty, so I've got myself ready and situated. I will say, <clears throat> excuse me, I am going to make one difference in what, compared to what Jada does, and she does, I've already chained five and created my circle, and at this point she does a chain of three, and that becomes her first double crochet. And instead of doing that, I am going to do a um, 
double stacked single crochet and that will become my first double crochet. So that is the only difference that I, or the only deviation that I am going to do. And I am going to mark the top of my double stacked single crochet so that I know where to um, slip stitch to complete the circle. So, but after that, I'm not going to, I'm not going to really say anything. You're just going to watch me crochet. So I hope you enjoy. So we are now at row five. We've done our first rounds, uh, first four rounds, and we are now at round five. And we are going to start building. This is the end of the top. 
excuse me, so now we're going to start building the body or this part of the hat. And yeah, I'm going to do a couple rows, then I will probably stop and then bring you back when I am about to start doing the brim. Apparently, oh, I was going to say, apparently I lost my hook, but I didn't. Alrighty, so here we go. Now we're getting to the really easy part. The brim part, I am loving how this is working up. Doesn't that look so cool? I love how it wraps around with the color. Now we're starting on the brim. So it's more of the same, just adding a couple more double crochets. So I've got one, two, and then I need to add three, four, five. <music>
am done with the brim. I have already fastened off and woven in my end. And I've started on the brim. So far, I've just got a few stitches. And the brim is just single crochets all the way around the whole brim. Not going into the uh, spaces, but going into each stitch. So, all right, I am going to continue working. I'm excited. I love how I've, I love how this has worked up. And I will decide whether or not I'm going to do two rounds of the single crochet. And we will see when I am done with the first round whether how much I like it. And then we will go from there. think we should do another row. I do have plenty. Yeah, I think we should do one more row and then it will be good. just gonna continue on aren't I Let's see that one has two almost just went right through to a third row <laughs> I don't need to do that so I learned Finally, how to do a 
seamless <laughs> join. And okay, so you cut, you've got your last loop and you cut your end and you just pull it through. And then you thread, and I don't know why I thought this was so hard, but for whatever reason, I couldn't figure it out. And now I've actually been able to figure it out. So we're going to join right here. I don't know if you can see that, but so I've got my thread or my thread. I've got my yarn and I want to join in this one right here. So we're going to go through both loops. Oh, see, we went through both loops and we're going to pull it through and then we're going to go through, we're going to go back through the middle of the last loop that you did. And this will create. Oops, at this point, my audio cut off, turned off, so I lost that and I am simply explaining that I completed a seamless join and now I am explaining that I'm going to bring the two ends together, tie them in a couple of knots, and then weave in my ends and then finish off the hat and we will be all completed. So I do apologize that my audio cut off and I did not realize, but I was showing how to do a seamless join. So, there you go. All right. So, here we are. I'm so excited. Look at this. So, this is probably roughly what it's going to look like on, on Matthias. I love how it came out. Oh, my gosh. Can you believe? I love how it has that, like, yellow brick, yellow brick road effect. Um, there's the top, but yeah, hopefully you're not getting all the styrofoam sound, but I love this and here it is with, isn't that so cute? We're just going to be, now we need to get pictures done. If we do, we need to get pictures done. Here's mine. That is so cute. I love it, and I'm so glad that I did two uh, rounds with the um, the trim. And yeah, let me see. Let me see. Whew. Oh my goodness, guys! So it did it again. My mics turned off. You would think I was just learning how to do this. <laughs> I am. Anyway, so here I am trying on the hat, and I loved how. The colors came out and how you can change the feel of the look by putting either the colors to the front or the black to the front. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the like button and leave me a comment. Are you going to make a hat? They're super easy and a lot of fun to do and I love the different colors that you can use. But with that... If you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click all on the notification bell. I hope that you have had a really great day and have enjoyed this video. And now, with that, I'm slowly working towards Gravity Works, guys. But we'll get there. Oh, there. I just said hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> Anyways, oh my goodness, this is so lame. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a great rest of your weekend. Let me know, are you going to watch the solar eclipse on Monday? I am. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm about to say gravity works, guys, but apparently not exactly. Okay, we're going to get this. There we go. Gravity works, guys. <laughs>